Hi, my name is Neil. I'm from Alltrack. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make sure that your wind machine and your Alltrack device are ready for uh, frost event. So when you log into your account and go to a group, you see your individual devices. Now before a frost event, you want to make sure that all of your devices are white tiles with that green dot. If they have that green dot, it means that your controller state is in auto um, and everything else is set. So your battery is okay, um, your start and stop temperature uh, are also set okay. If you see something other than a white tile with a green dot, that means you might have an issue. So this one, for example, it's a black tile. And if we click it, it says the switch is in the manual position. So that's the actual physical switch on the device that needs to be in the auto position uh, for our wind, mach wind machine controller to be able to turn it on and off. Um, other things, like if you see this symbol, that means that your device is not connected to the cloud, and that is usually due to uh, not having a battery in place on the wind machine. So you're for sure going to want to go check your battery, maybe your battery cables on this one, make sure there's no corrosion on it. If you see a little yellow dot on your tile, that can mean a couple of things, uh, but in this case, it's a low battery. So 11.2 volts, uh, that's pretty low. So if your wind machine is cold and trying to crank at 11.2 volts, uh, you might not be able to actually start the wind machine. Um, so this one, you'd wanna go out and uh, either charge it up or check the solar panel as well to make sure the solar panel is charging it correctly. And then uh, cut temp probes, you know, from pruning, things like that. You'll get an icon right on the main page. Uh, you'll want to go and replace that probe. All our wires are 18 gauge, so you should be able to um, butt connect them back together. But if they're not, uh, you can always ask us for a new temp probe and we can send that out to you. If you want to set up alerts and uh, run reports, we also have some videos on that. So uh, you can check out our YouTube channel uh, for that information as well. So when you do the visual inspection, you can see that the battery, temp probe, fuel sensor, all your settings are correct, but you can't actually tell that the RPM signal is going to be measured uh, by the Alltrack unit. And so to do that, you're actually going to have to run the wind machine, which we recommend you doing before a frost night. If uh, you know that no one's at the machine, you can do that remotely through here by changing your start and stop temperature. Uh, but you know, safety first, we always recommend that, you know, if you're at the machine, uh, change it through the app. That makes sure that our device can tell that wind machine to turn on. And then when it actually does turn on, uh, we can measure that it's on. And you only have to run it through its, uh, you know, warm up cycle and then maybe five minutes of full run. And that way you'll get a really good picture of, uh, number one, does your wind machine actually run? And number two, uh, is that RPM signal steady and is all track recording it correctly. Um, and a trick with that is our device connects every 15 minutes to the cloud. And so if you go out during the day and your temperature is not within a few degrees of your stop temperature, this device is going to connect every 15 minutes. So you'll be waiting around a while if you make a settings change. So what you can do is on the 12 pin uh, Deutsch connector, that's attached to the wiring harness on your wind machine. If you just pull that apart and then plug it back in, make sure you hear the click, um, that will reset the device. So any settings changes that you make uh, will automatically uh, update. Uh, just make sure that, you know, when you do this, um, your hands aren't near any moving pieces on the engine because the engine will start uh, pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I hope that was a good tutorial on uh, how to get your wind machine ready. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. Um, put the number down below.